Alright, we're over here today at ABC Dino, me and my friend Jorge, he's got a hell of a dino set up here and he's the guy that I get all the SCT stuff from. So if you need a good tuner, Jorge's the man to talk to. What's that phone number, Jorge? It's, look here, look here, right here, right here. Get on that phone number, G. 770-831-7401. Now Jorge and his brother Pat here will take care of you on this stuff. So come on inside, let's test and see what we got. Okay, now we do all our work with a Mustang Dyno. The uh, Mustang is a drive-on system. You back the truck onto it, onto a set of rollers. And from these rollers, we produce the power and the computer generates uh, through the use of magnets and lights and mirrors. Right, Jorge? Is that how that shit works? Do any current. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, man. Uh, <laughs> eddy current. Okay, how does eddy current work in a nutshell? Well, use electricity to put a load on the rollers. Okay. And uh, it simulates the weight of the vehicle. I see. And then from there, depending on the forces uh, that are generated by the by the tires onto the rollers, it extrapolates the numbers into the computer. It gives you the numbers you make, yeah. I see. Okay. Well, I just know that the thing will churn out the numbers, which is what that's important to me. It's strapped onto these rollers back here, and this is where the actual power is applied at the rear wheels, is through these rollers. Now, if you walk over here, the rollers are connected to an electronic brake over here. And this electronic brake is programmed by the computer about how much resistance is going to be applied to the vehicle in question. The input in regard to how much resistance is applied is a function of the weight of the vehicle. In our case, it's 7,500 pounds. This is an extremely effective and accurate representation of torque and power output as you can find anywhere. But this is just one of several designs of uh, dynamometers. But this one is the most repeatable and most consistent and that's why we're using it. Not to mention that the guys that own it happen to be a neighbor of mine. But it turns out that they have one of the best dynamometers that are produced on the market. If you put your vehicle on this dyno and then you go to a different design dyno you're going to have different outputs in terms of the numbers that are generated by the, the equipment because of the nature of the way the equipment works. It's very important that you do your testing and tuning with the exact same dyno. The reason I say this is because we're dealing with percentages here. We get a percentage increase or decrease depending on which modification that we're making to the vehicle. The idea of using percentages works a whole lot better because if you get a different torque or power rating from another, another dyno, you, and you do the same modification, the percentage change that you will get in terms of increase of power will be the same if you do the modifications that we show you and you get a percentage increase in power. Even though your dyno is not going to represent the power exactly the same as this, the percent increase in power output that you're going to get is going to correspond with the numbers in that dyno. When we do the testing, we do five runs. And out of the five runs, we throw the one run out that's way out of parameter. And then we take the average of the four and find the one that's in the middle. And that's the one that we take as being the uh, accurate representation of the power output of that particular test. Now at this point, follow along with us. And we're going to show you a dyno run and show you how it works. And then I'm going to explain all the different power outputs that we've got that correspond to each of the modifications that we've made to the truck. The results are really quite amazing and what we've ended up with is in the moderate power range of the tuner we've gotten 600 foot-pounds of output with propane and we've increased our fuel economy by almost 30 percent. The test vehicle that we use to, to demonstrate all of these different modifications is a 2000 F250 two-wheel drive extended cab long bed it's got 373 gears in the rear end and it has oversized tires instead of the standard 235-85-16s I run a 285-75-16 this tire is considerably taller than the stock tire and it slows down the speedometer by about 5 miles an hour at 70 miles an hour so when it reads 70 I'm actually going 75 now this truck does have a lot of miles on it over 700,000 miles but because the engine has been so well cared for and it's never really been run hard it's still an excellent candidate to do these modifications it's, it doesn't use any oil, it's got excellent compression the injectors are in very good shape so it's an excellent candidate to demonstrate all of the different modifications that we've done
635, G. 635. 635. Wave to the camera, G. Wave to the camera, G. Go, G. Go, G.